I know this may seem basic, but this machine I see done wrong every freaking week at the gym. So let me show you how to fix it. All right, guys, this machine made famous by Dorian Yates. In any old blood and guts video, if you guys have ever seen that, that's one of my favorite all time like bangers of training videos. So if you'll see in here, him and Leroy just wear this machine out. So I know a lot of people may be new to the gym or if you just never pay that close of attention to exercise, the technical name, and I'm gonna read this so I don't get it wrong, it's right inside the arm of this and it's called an isolateral front lat pull down. I honestly didn't even know the name of it. <laughs> if you would have asked me what this is, I would have said it's a hammer strength supinated pull down, if that's what I'm gonna call it, a hammer strength supinated pull down. Because to me, I'm gonna get him to step back, I, it's super, supinated because I'm underhand grip here, right? Here, here, and this is a pull down. So sit down, kick the feet up, chest in the pad, and then all we're gonna think about here doing is just drive down and squeeze, right? So we're here, here. Then if you want to get really fancy, you would just do a single arm. So we're here. Single arm pull down with this. I'm thinking about taking my hand, pulling into this chest pad, squeezing down into that lat. So if you can kind of see, like I'm not perfectly upright, I'm kind of leaned into that machine. So I'll show you again. If this is upright and square to the camera, I'm gonna just tilt a little bit with my rib cage, drive down, squeeze that lat here. Now, those are the two ways that I would use this piece. I'm gonna do both arms or single arm. Either one works incredible. Now, another cool way you can really drill your upper back is you see these handles here? Grab those with a neutral grip, same positioning. Kick the feet up here, and then I'm coming down, squeeze my upper back. Stretch, squeeze the upper back. Stretch, squeeze the upper back. So with this, for me, I feel this everything rear delt to rear delt and then down to the bottom portion of my traps. So you think that like the, all that meat in the dead center of your back, that's where I feel that neutral grip. And actually this feels really good. Like this isn't, wouldn't be something that I would necessarily start a back session with, but this would be a good like polishing, finishing exercise to get very particular if you're willing to work those like mid to low traps and really drive and drill on those because again, your legs are locked in, your chest is leaning into that pad and I can really squeeze back and think about folding my shoulder blades together, right? So going here with my back. So I'm here, squeeze, here, squeeze. Now, those are the, all three ways that I would use this piece. Underhand, one arm, or a neutral grip for my upper back. Sadly, what I see people do is they think, oh, it's a front lat pull down. So I'm gonna grab the bar here. Look at my hands. <laughs> First of all, that doesn't even feel good. Let me show you what one of these look like. Feet trapped in, set tall. I'm gonna try to do this, actually do this. So pull down and squeeze. That right there feels horrible on my wrists. The alignment is miserable. I'm gonna do it again. Just like that. It's not an exercise, guys. <laughs> it's not. Look how this is set up. That right there, if you look at this bar, it's ideal for neutral and then that just naturally folds in. So now when I sit down, look how much better that's here, here, here. On a path to get that lat. As opposed to, I'm gonna put my hand over. Now, what does that make my elbow wanna do? See how it goes out to the side? Naturally, I'm just bending at the elbow. Because in order to get this pulled down, even if I'm trying to tuck it, that doesn't feel great. This underhand here, now get that lat. Now get that lat. Hammer strings, pull down. How to do it, how not to do it. I'm telling you guys, put those three into place. I just showed you the single arm, double arm, and then the neutral grip. And I promise this will feel way better to your back and way better to your wrists and elbows. So if you like this video, guys, like, share, and subscribe. Until next time, Christmas TV.